Hello YouTube, today it's gonna be a quick video about Lenovo Legion 7 16IA X7 that only applies to this particular 16IA X7 video because many Lenovo Legions I can fix no problem especially if you have the center plastic piece broken and you wiggle the connector until it broke and those are usually usually fixable now this is probably um this is 2022 so it's only two years old uh really expensive system in my opinion and uh, it has nothing to do with the connector here because the connector is uh, not broken obviously right there the connection points here are not broken either the problem is the design itself so what this company did lenovo did was usually it was just one power connector right here and this power connector would just conduct the 300 watts coming from the power supply 20 volts 15 amps and it would just go all over the motherboard and everything would work fine the only thing that would break is this guy here that's what used to break and you replace it and everything's fine another problem was a um broadcom chip which is not probably on this motherboard anymore um do i see it no i don't see it no nope. all right but here the newest design uh the way how most of the laptops gonna break within a year or two is uh, instead of running the power directly to the motherboard they run the power to this uh, voltage regulator right here and this voltage regulator is definitely not made to handle 300 wattage coming through it because it's a surface mounted piece it just sits on the motherboard like from top down i have a bunch of videos i have thousand plus videos on this channel um, and some of them have this guy in in the picture so this voltage regulator is the one that's supposed to do a handshake with a usb type c connection here so what what the lenovo did is they run the power from here through those diodes here uh, MOSFETs, MOSFETs here, uh, then it goes to here and this should supposed to, this thing supposed to do a handshake here which never happens and uh, and basically something is shorted either on this chip right here or some chips uh, or some capacitors nearby. If you are able to figure out what the problem is please leave a comment below I would really appreciate it but for now, if it doesn't say in the description to this video that you can send us this particular model, we, we do get a lot of Legion 7s uh, that are older, which are fixable for the power connector issue. But if, if this is the model right here and your laptop stop working for no reason all of a sudden, it's going to happen to every single one of those laptops out there um, because that wattage is not being um, is not going to be able to go through this particular ship here so what i did to this board i did try to fix it um, i replaced this mosfet i replaced that mosfet i also rebolt this chip i took it off put the new balls on there and put it back on and nothing changed so i kind of gave up because it's been two days i've been working on this motherboard and i don't get paid that much i mean the amazon warehouse pays more next door uh, much more than me sitting here trying to do this kind of uh, fixes here so and yeah so again if you're a computer shop who was able to figure out what the problem is please uh, leave a comment below but here i'm going to show you under the microscope right now all of the areas here which are i worked on and which didn't give me a success um so maybe you will be able to figure it out. I will need to clean all of that stuff up, but I'm, you see, like fresh out of, uh, out of soldering, desoldering stuff. So let me show you. All right, so this is the first MOSFET right here. This is the second one I replaced. And this is that chip, uh, the, which is Texas Instrument chip. Um, let me just clean it up here so that you could see the chip uh, naming on there. Let's see. Is gonna hide in a second tps tps and the rest of it is hard to see 
طبعا TPS 6599AE That's the chip right there So I think I think the chip is at fault But the, the problem is I don't have those chips in stock TPS 6599 993 TPS 6599AE And the uh, this is TI Texas Instrument to something to nine AF VTI. Is that what this is? From the top, you see it cannot be read because it's a mirror surface and it doesn't matter how. Oh no, oh no, it could be read TPS 659. Uh, again, on the other uh, angle, it was much better readable. And uh, yeah, so. 2S 2SAF VTI I think is the chip 29 probably right 29 all right so you see I did reball all of it and um, still no luck so the current goes to this MOSFET here and it stops at this MOSFET um, dead so if you look uh, under the floor under the infrared camera this is the one that overheats but it overheats not because it's bad i i knew that before but i still replaced the chip anyway um so it it's basically shuts down the power so you should get the reading here 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 and here for the power coming into it but uh, this guy just shuts down the power going to the rest of the to the rest of the uh, laptop because it thinks that there's a shortage there someplace Sometimes those chips are bad, sometimes, uh, let's see, this one, I mean, let's see if this guy, no, no, nothing familiar here was that. Yeah, probably also nothing familiar. All right, so, yeah, so if any one of you guys was able to figure out what the problem is, again, if you got the floor showing up, this is the problem here, this chip. Um, the OEM name for that, I will show you in a second, hold on. All right, here is the one I took off the motherboard. It's a G8 GUB YOK05. That's one. Maybe not. Hold on. Maybe that's a different one. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is from a different laptop. Um, here, uh, this one. This one was the one. P three two three one four. and L2P3E yeah those two I took off but they are just fine so those are not the problem here um, for sure and reballing this thing not gonna help either so so don't waste your time and please don't send me the laptop unless it says in the comments below that uh, we found the solution to this laptop uh, the solution to the problem to this laptop I would really appreciate it all right all right, I cleaned up the board a little bit. And uh, yeah, so this is the same layout as any USB Type-C. A uh, couple of MOSFETs, the uh, handshaker, the one that's responsible to boost up the voltage from 5 to 20 volts. But um, I was hoping maybe there's a way to bypass it. Maybe I could just run a wire. This is where we get 20 volts here, all right? We get 20 volts here, it just doesn't go this way. Um, maybe there is a way to just bypass the 20 volts to some place here maybe to this guy or on some laptops it's possible and they work just fine some acer laptops i was able to just bypass all of those uh, nonsense and they work fine um in lenovo's i wasn't that uh, i wasn't that successful to bypass anything so it's it's hard to figure out if I could just jump away from here to someplace else and it's going to give me 20 volts. So if any one of you would be able to bypass this whole nonsense, 
which is going to be in every single laptop so that you would be able to buy a new laptop every one or two years. That's the trend uh, specifically to, well, let's, let's not name names, but um, I mean, one thing is they would be dying and I would be able to fix it. The other way, they would be dying and I would not be able to fix it and you would need to buy another laptop. So that's um, not working for me as well as I was hoping for. So, so uh, thank you European Union for, for, um, for boosting the sales of the laptops for the next uh, 10, 20, 30 years, because uh, if this is going to be in every single laptop there is, uh, this is what's going to happen, non-fixable laptops. So again, if somebody were going to be able to fix it, let me know in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.